know you. Just like to say I'm the only one that dressed up. All the points that are in my So I'm reminded of a joke. A guy goes to a doctor and the doctor does a whole bunch of tests on him and he talks to him and he says, Joe, listen, I'm sorry, but it uh, looks like you have this horrible disease and you've only got about a week to live. By the way, here's your bill. Patient Bob looks at the, Joe looks at the bill and he says, wow, I, I can't pay this. I need to pay till next week. The doctor goes, okay, I'll give you two weeks to that. The accuracy of the prognosis of physicians and terminal ill patients is 80% of the time wrong. Sometimes up to as much as a year. That means if the doctor says you have six months to live, you might actually have 18 months to live. According to the National Institute of Health, my colleague actually touched upon this, misdiagnosis of a terminally ill patient happens 15% of the time. That's out of every 100 people, 15 times they get it wrong. Do they still have a horrible disease? Probably, but it might be treatable. Now, let's think about this Death with Dignity Act and how now, as a patient, I'm in poverty. My family can't afford to pay for the bills that they think that they're going to incur. They know they're going to be a burden on their family. And they've been just been given this diagnosis. Maybe I'll just take the pill. Comes out next week. Oh, there was a mix-up with the lab. You actually don't have this kind of cancer. You have a different type of cancer. If that happens one time, this law is wrong. That's murder. Now, my opponents talked about autonomy. Now, I like to think of myself as a fairly eloquent speaker, but this guy said it right, just the best. On an Intelligence Squared debate on physician-assisted death, Dr. Daniel Somacy said, death obliterates all liberty. Saying that the respect for liberty justifies the obliteration of liberty actually undermines the value of our freedom. As a libertarian, I think that everyone should have a choice. I think you should be able to do whatever you want to do as long as you don't want to hurt other people. This hurts other people. A doctor's role is to help. First, do no harm. If we allow physicians to now think of costs, of burden of the other family, and allow them to maybe influence the patient to their choice of death, that's just wrong. Please join me in opposing this bill. 